Hello, folks. It is June 25th. We have a forecast video to get to. Sorry I wasn't able to do one yesterday. It was actually uh, six, so I wasn't really able to put one out. But I do have some exciting news here. Turn the volume up just a little bit. There we go. Um, we are looking at a severe weather threat today. Um, who's it for? We're going to talk about that in just a, bit, in just a bit, minute. Busy weather day, late morning storms in southern New England, the greatest threat for the afternoon. Even an isolated tornado possible. Let's, talk, let's go over the severe weather threat right now. Starting off with radar imagery. Okay, this is uh, the radar imagery coming straight out of the northeast. You can see that we have two main areas of storms. One storm uh, cluster that's pushing through eastern Pennsylvania up into Connecticut. We've got a very strong line of damaging wind pushing through central Connecticut right now that's associated with that. That will push off to the east. That line of damaging wind will elongate. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. In the meantime, we've got more storms east of Lake Ontario. Those will become a problem for everyone in the northeast later this afternoon. Those are the ones who have the supercell potential to produce even a scattered tornado. Now let's go over the threat as we uh, go back into the PowerPoint. Okay, so Friday's Friday should be weather. I know it's not Friday, it's Monday, but this map keeps saying Friday. Oh well, you can see hail one to two inches in diameter. An inch in diameter might uh, will probably knock a few leaves off the trees. You'll see it uh, probably clogging up a few storm drains. Two inches, if you're driving on the highway, is actually big enough to cause damage to your windshield. 60 mile an hour wind gusts is down is enough to down an isolated well, a few trees on the street but lots of branches are going to be coming down 60 mile an hour and thus isolated tornadoes. Now these will be weak, weak tornadoes. This will not be the type of tornadoes we saw on June 1st of 2011 or the type we saw on June 1st of 2012 for that matter. And that is anywhere in the red that was up for a threat back into North Carolina. So that is a very large area. Okay, and as we go throughout the afternoon, let's actually take a look at some models which we're looking at. I know there's like a number of things running in the background. There's really nothing I can do about that. Chances are they're trying to make it extra loud just to annoy me, uh, but I'm not going to let it get to me. Let's take a look at the HRR model, the HRR, and you can see with this line of storms, it actually it develops through eastern Massachusetts. Those Ontario storms push into the area, and this is by 1 p.m. You can see that line from Ontario means business as it pushes into western New England back into the mid-Atlantic. Those storms actually become one of the worst lines of storm, perhaps even the worst in the one pushing through central Connecticut right now. Let's just get a quick look at those storms going for Central Connecticut just so you can get an idea of what's going on with them. And they are looking pretty nasty, sp spreading up from Springfield all the way down to about Philadelphia. And those will be pushing off the northeast as we go through the morning. Stay tuned to the Facebook page. Have a good day.